the language of a feminine woman. Hello and welcome to Chengi's World. I am Chengi and you, my precious one, are my world. Thank you for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, do not forget, of course, to subscribe, like, share and comment. And I will see you in every video. Do not forget to hit that notification bell, bing bing, so that you are notified every single time I upload a video. Just flow with me, track with me, uh, like, uh, <laughs> like, um, Pastor Tori Roberts says, are you tracking with me? So y'all, I hope you're tracking with me. Okay, so here's what I wanted to say to you. One of the things that we need to understand about language is that it is it, it creates our neurology, it, it helps systematically work through the way we think, show up, and, and mainly the way we think and the way our minds are molded. We were created, our minds, our thinking, our neurological neurolog pathways were built by words. Words are important, and, 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 and using the right words and the right language is really important. Also understanding that the male brain and the female brain are different, and that the way the, the male brain is designed and its receptors are very different from the way that the female brain is designed and its receptors. And so sometimes when we're communicating to men from a very masculine pers perspective, we, and we don't understand why we get the pushback. We don't understand why there's, a, there's offense. Now, I'm not talking about your narcissistic guy, okay? We're talking about healthy, high-value men that are cherishing and respecting of you, but something that, that you don't understand why you kind of get his back up over certain things or don't always get the result or feel hurt in the way that you want to feel hurt. And that is because you are using the wrong language. You are not using feminine language. And so what I did is I've created two courses, Feminine Mastery. Feminine Mastery is amazing, of course. You need to get it. Link in the description box below, changiswell.co.uk forward slash shop. But I've also done a course on how to talk to men so they listen, right? and you get whatever you want okay so that's another course that you want to get from changiswell.co.uk forward slash shop and in that course i talk about how to 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 speak to a man how to enter his left lobe and get let him feel respected merely by just how you speak but one of the things that i want to address again in this season is swearing and i know i hop on about it because it pees me off. Now, do not get me wrong. <laughs> I've sworn myself. And now and again, I lose my way. Okay. <laughs> God help me. Right? But I am not talking about the occasional swear word under a certain type of situation. Right? There's some situations, right, that the that English language in itself as it is in his perfection with all of his glory and my other language shauna with all of his perfection and all of his glory sometimes fails to really put the message across and sometimes you have no choice right i'm not talking about those moments i'm talking about somebody who uses swear words as part of their vocabulary Ladies, these are bad habits and these are masculine traits. When I say masculine traits, I don't want you to think that I applaud men for these things either. But there are certain things that are masculine and signal your masculinity in a conversation when you're not trying to do that. You know, a lot of us are out here doing these things not because we're defiant, but because we are drunk with certain teachings, certain movements, certain things that are pervading the earth right now and they're contaminating our minds and making us think that certain behavior is acceptable. You know, I know some of you be thinking, well, that's because Chinga, you think you're just such a snob, darling. I, you know, it's really funny because I know people think that sometimes, not everybody, not those who know me, not of course you, my angels, but I have been accused of this and I've stopped denying it, but only because it's less effort to, you know. When did having good manners, being well spoken, showing up as a lady become a thing 
that qualified you for snobbery. It should be what all of us do. We should all show up as ladies. You know, a man will never become a gentleman until he meets a lady, right? We, we need to wake up to the reality that in this day and age, we need to separate ourselves. And guess what? It's so easy to shine in the 21st century than it's ever been before. I'll tell you why. Because you just have to be different from the sheeple. I love that word. One of my clients uses it. I love it. Right? You, you, you know, everybody is doing the same thing. Everyone swears like a sailor as if it's part of the English language. I'm sure the English dictionary is going to end up putting those words in the dictionary because we are constantly using them. If it's not already, I haven't checked. But the point is, we, everybody is doing something and so many of us, ladies, are sheeple. We're like sheep. We just follow the trend. That's what everybody's doing. It's socially acceptable. So I'm going to join the bandwagon. You know, you can't be 20. I was talking to my son and he's uh, 14. And he was saying to me, you know, mom, the pressure to swear at school is proper. Uh, and he's like, there are times when you're like, everybody's watching you and, and, they, and somebody's sworn at you. And, and, and it's almost like you only have like, they're waiting to, for you to swear back. And you know, I'm so proud of him because he's like, I, I don't do that. Now don't get me wrong, my son is no nerd. He is no worse because he was raised by a mama who don't take no nonsense. When my son used to come home and somebody bullied him, I was not the mama, God forgive me, who would say, just talk to them and try to be friends. I'd be like, if that boy pushes you, you're behind. I better push him, kick him, and make sure he never tries you again, okay? I don't know if that's right or wrong, but that's just the mama that I was. I never, I hate bullies, I hate bullying, and I will not allow or tolerate anyone I love to be bullied and he had the choice he would deal with his own bullies or I would have to come to school and deal with them and I, I think he'd rather deal, deal with them himself and so my son is somebody that you know when other boys see him they're not trying to bully him because they know that he's gonna like <laughs> he ain't playing that game right but he doesn't have to be foul-mouthed you know you know his true strength has to come from within and i've told him that masculine strength real strength that comes from within that's that that's from within and people other men other people they sense it around you okay okay this is how i've raised my son and i'm saying this to say this to you femininity womanhood is not something being trendy or current is not something that requires the selling of your soul as you are with your good manners, clean up your language. It won't, nobody's gonna kick you out of the room. I am always with all different types of people. I don't just hang with sweet, lovely, up, up market people. I hang with ex-drug dealers, some people who were drug dealers, prostitutes. I don't have that kind of, I only hang out with these people. I, 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 I flow, I pretty much roll with everybody. I roll in the church, I roll, roll in the streets, but you're gonna meet Chengi all day, every day. I don't need to swear for you to understand what I'm trying to say to you. I don't, and everybody in my life accepts that. I've never been kicked out of a room, I've never been not listened to, people have not rolled their eyes to me. People just accept it because my power my power is from my core. I am not easy to ignore because of who I am and how I have harnessed my power as a person that whether I speak to you in the perfectly formed English or not, your behind is gonna listen and respect because I don't take my power from outside of myself. I take my power from the Lord and I take that power from the Lord and I allow it to flow through me. And authority is authority. Okay, and some of us are trying to get authority and trying to get respect through certain behavior, but you don't understand that one of those men that you're sitting around with, that you even fancy, that you like, that you're into, is eliminating you because you're not showing up as a lady. Because the truth is, when a man's ready to, a high value man, is ready to, to, to get a one, find a wife, or get serious and get a girlfriend, he isn't really trying to be with a woman that's like one of the boys right it's there's no polarity there he can hang out with the boys he wants to be in soft feminine company he wants to be in gentle company nurturing company he wants a different environment 
otherwise there's no sexual polarity there's no reason for him to pay for dinner or take you anywhere nice because he doesn't do that for his boys and he's going to get the same experience as he would from the boys so i hope this has really helped you again i wish i wish i wish i wish i could be nice about it but the reality of it is the truth kind of hurts but the word tells us that it's going to set you free and they shall know the truth hallelujah and the truth shall set you free honey so if you want to be freed this year 2020 to really become a man magnet oh a lady the man just a door a woman that has options all day every day without fail then what i'm teaching you in this video that's part of the ticket keep watching my videos and join me in changi's angels make sure you get those uh those tools in the description link below changisworld.co.uk forward slash shop and i'll see you in my next video in the meantime take care of you